With their sturdy, broken-down microphones, they were headed for greatness in the American West. Jack and Ron in the morning. If you don't laugh like this, you're probably normal. The following entertainment special contains mature subject matter. Parents may consider some of the program content unsuitable for children. Parental discretion is advised. Bad Boys of Radio. Here's Jack and Ron. What's going on? It's Jack. Jack Dam Elliott minus Ron Dam Williams. Ron is not here with us today. Richard, our producer, director, and uh, the guy who runs all the gear, going to fill in for Ron. Help out on Howdy, this. folks. On this uh, fine, fine uh, number one video podcast in America. So Ron's not here. What's the deal? Well, today's my birthday, so I guess Ron decided to take the day off. That was his birthday present to you. Yeah, his birthday yeah. present. He's like not- at home covered in chocolate fudge waiting for you. Yeah. <laughs> Keep waiting, Daddy. Keep waiting. So Ron's not here today on my birthday. It's supposed to happen the other way, and that's supposed to go in reverse. If it's my birthday, wouldn't I have the day off? But in this case, Ron has taken the day off in honor of my birthday, I guess. How sweet. Yeah, there you go. So we got a lot of things going on here today. Richard's covering for Ron, kind of helping out here in the interim. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff to cover, and we want to thank the uh, folks here at Othello's. Othello's Italian Restaurant in downtown Edmond, where we do this phenomenal one-hour video podcast each week, seen on Jack and Ron's Facebook page and live on YouTube. Yes, and you can just search The Jack and Ron Show on YouTube, and right now we are streaming there. So just in case if you're not a Facebook fan and you want to watch it on YouTube, because everybody got YouTube, you can now check us out on YouTube. There you go. YouTube, the Jack and Ron show on YouTube. You can watch live on YouTube or just on Jack and Ron on the uh, Facebook page. So check it out. We appreciate everybody who does check it out and uh, participates in the little get together each week. And uh, again, thanks to Othello's uh, great people here allow us to come in and kind of take over the uh, restaurant here in Edmond. They have another location in, uh, well, it's in Norman on Campus Corner, a great a couple of restaurants and uh, next door to uh, Othello's, they have another restaurant, this family of uh, folks that own this great, great group of restaurants. They have a place called Around the Corner. Breakfast, lunch, man, seven days a week. Outstanding. And I want to say thanks to uh, all the great people here at Othello's. I came to dinner here last night with my wife. I had uh, ravioli with the red sauce. Oh, and then the bread. Mm. Mm. Oh, man, it was delicioso. It, it was so good. And then Bob and Tammy, the uh, owners, they had just flown back from uh, Italy the day before. Oh. They spent two weeks in Italy on a restaurant tour, restaurant and wine, and they were showing me pictures of places and foods that looked so incredibly uh, exotic. Uh, so we spent about 45 minutes last night visiting with Bob and Tammy, the owners of Othello's, and uh, got an update on their trip to Italy. All of a sudden now, I have this drive. Well, I have this desire to go to Italy. You ever been to Europe or any I, of those? I have not. Me neither. I have not been out there. I, oh, I do want to. Uh, I wouldn't mind going. I'd like to go to Italy now that they've shown me pictures and some of the restaurants they went to. Holy cow! How'd it look? Uh, Talk pretty, to us, Jack. It, like, it, it, give it, us it, the vision it, it, for well, us who are still stuck here in Oklahoma. First off, the roads are very narrow because Italy is very old as a country. The buildings are old, but they guess drive what? a lot. They showed. They don't really drive that much. They don't drive much. They're mostly on mopeds and things of that nature. Tiny little cars, cars that you would see on a go-kart track here in America. (laughs) The thing is, these buildings, some of them are from the 14th century and you go, it's still standing. Yeah, Mm -hmm. they build a little different over there than we do here in America. (laughs) You know, these things were meant to last. And so very impressive. And uh, now I have a desire to go to Italy and check it out and see just... uh, do you vacation outside yeah. of going to Cincinnati? Do, oh, yeah. I, you, I, you know, it's been a year since I've been to Vegas, but I like going to Vegas, but okay. it's been a year. Uh, I love Phoenix. I've got some family in Phoenix and love going to Phoenix. And when my daughter lived in Phoenix, we'd go there all the time. And then for about a year, they lived in San Diego, would go there all the time. San Diego, Phoenix, Vegas. Um, love those places. Also... I like a little bit of Florida. Been to uh, Destin and San Destin, Florida. Hmm. You ever been to San Destin? Know. Where's that at? It's is it on the Panhandle or is it like it's, more towards it's, the water? It's a little further off the Panhandle, a little further down. But the beaches, I mean, you know, you use this to white balance on your camera. The white, uh-huh. the beaches there, the sand is that when we first pulled in, I thought, 
No, it's, it's too warm to snow. What is that? Wow. The beaches in Destin, Florida are more beautiful than those in Hawaii. And I've been to Hawaii, too, talking about wow. places you can go. Anyway, nice. uh, thanks to the uh, folks at Othello's here for uh, putting up with us every week. Uh, and be sure to check out Othello's because they're open every day, 4 p.m. And uh, that includes the uh, location in Norman on Campus Corner, as well as this one at 1 South Broadway in historic downtown Edmond. Historic and on downtown. Monday, tonight, they've got that special deal. I'd say build your own pasta dish, $12.50. You pick the pasta. Well, what do you want? You want a uh, bow tie pasta? You want linguine? You pick the pasta. Then you pick the sauce. You want Alfredo? You want red sauce? What is it you want? And then you pick your protein. Maybe you want uh, beef. Maybe you want chicken. Maybe you want uh, sausage. You pick it. $12.50 for a whole gigantic plate. It's unbelievable. And Mwah, sounds delicious. And on Sunday, like we came last night and I had the uh, ravioli, my wife had some, uh, I don't know what kind of noodles she gets with like a uh, garlic butter sauce. Anyway, it's awesome. I think when you put but, garlic butter sauce on anything, it becomes, no, it becomes right. a, a masterpiece at you that moment. You put it on meatloaf, man. Yeah. It's so good. But anyway, uh, Sunday is also half price pizza day here. So you see quite a few people coming in, getting pizzas to go or eating pizzas down there in the... Uh, uh, the the bar beautiful area. patio as well. Yeah, they got the outdoor patio and everything going on. Hey, we also have to thank Flash Holler, the uh, people who are the major sponsor of this podcast. Uh, Flash Holler, they transport merchandise like Uber transports people. You've got something you want to move, a chair, a couch, ottoman, a uh, refrigerator, refri uh, you know, a freezer, uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, couch, washer and dryer. Yeah. Sofa, carpet, sofa, love rug. seat, anything like that you want to move. Contact Flash Hauler. And you're thinking, well, how long is that going to... They've got drivers all over the city. Like I said, it's like Uber. You download their app. You go to their Facebook page, F-L-A-S-H-O-L-R.com, FlashHauler.com, F-L-A-S-H-O-L-R.com. And they move stuff. Now they've got HOD, hauling on demand, MOD, moving on demand. They'll come in and box up all your crap and move it for you. Say you're moving from Norman to uh, Midwest City. Why? God only knows, and he ain't yeah. talking. Maybe in tornadoes. Uh, yeah, yeah, it could be. <laughs> or if you're moving from Edmond to uh, Shawnee. No, Shawnee had the tornadoes too, didn't they? Yeah. Okay, skip that. Yeah. So you're moving from Edmond, one location in Edmond to another. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Flash Holler. Go ahead, download the app. Uh, go to their website, flashholler.com. Uh, and I wanted to hit you with asinine trivia. We always start out each and every week hitting Richard with asinine trivia, although he's not on camera at that time. This, for you who have just jumped on board, is Richard. I'm not Ron. Yeah. At a glance, uh, I might. Yeah. I think we're kind of the same complexion. So, you know, you can quickly be like, well, Ron grew a mohawk. Yeah. My, <laughs> he might, might appear a little bit like Ron, but not completely. Not At any completely. rate, um, Richard, and it's Richard Tarpin, right? Taplin. Taplin. How come I can't get your name right? Feelings. Richard Taplin. All you do is yell at me. I just call you Richard. All you do is yell at So it's me. Richard Taplin, <laughs> and uh, Richard runs the gear. He's the uh, executive producer of this thing. So he said he'd sit in for Ron today since Ron took off uh, took off today for my birthday. Uh, anyway, Richard's filling in, and we always hit him each week with asinine trivia. Trivia so easy. It's asinine. Here we go, Richard. This should be simple. Question number one. Oh. Oh. Name something you do with a dishwasher. Uh, wash, wash dishes. Good job. Yes. If I had the bell, yes. I'd ding, ring ding. it. Instead, I'll go, Eric. Hey. Maybe I won't. Yeah, All okay. right. Question two. <laughs> in what part of the world, in what part of the world does Santa Claus live? I would say North Pole. You're good. You're right. Ding, ding. Finally, name the two guys who have won more broadcast awards than any other broadcasters in Oklahoma and who often squirt strawberry jam in each other's nostrils oh. while using a straw to blow air in one another's behinds. Wow. And who also perform the number one video podcast in America. Jack and Ron. You got it. I buddy. think we should create a Patreon page showing you guys doing some all the, of the, all those things that you always talk about. I think we should have a Patreon page. We should to be able to go behind the scenes yeah. when Jack and Ron get kinky. A behind the scenes picture of Jack and Ron. All right. So Richard's filling in for Ron while Ron takes my birthday off. Um and enjoys the day. Yes. Uh, I got some uh, things I was going to mention here. And I don't know, don't know if everybody's seen this or heard about it, because uh, I know it's gone on already or it started in uh, Los Angeles, Vegas and Phoenix. Uh, McDonald's is changing its burgers, including the Big Mac. OK. What's, right? what's, what's the big change? OK. First off, the Big Mac is getting more Big Mac sauce. 
A uh, writer for People magazine said they tried it, and she says it makes it more like a messy pub burger. Sounds good to me. Rid of the sauce? No, they've added more Big Mac sauce. Oh. They're giving you more sauce okay. than they than okay. they used to. Um, let's see here. I was never a Big Mac fan. Oh, I love the Big Mac. Yeah, I, yeah. Wasn't, I wasn't a never the double cheeseburger or the Big Mac. Double my cheeseburger two was the yeah. That's killer, man. Uh, it is killer. One of the other things <laughs> McDonald's is doing is uh, the buns are changing too. They're going to be softer than before. You like soft buns, don't you? I do. Uh, McDonald's describes them as pillowy buns Ooh. that are freshly toasted to a golden brown. Now get mm. this. In addition to all this, the cheese will be meltier. Would it be mm. real cheese now? Meltier cheese. Real cheese. Real cheese. Yeah. Look at McDonald's. Not just a whiz. Real cheese. Wow. It says it's not clear if they're changing the type of cheese or just making it more melty. And finally, the onions are changing too. Instead of tossing them into the product at the end, they're going to add them to the burgers on the grill to create a more caramelized flavor. Ooh, they're mm. getting intimate over here at McDonald's. Very good. The changes don't apply just to Big Macs. They're also uh, applied to regular burgers, cheeseburgers, double cheeseburgers, and the McDoubles. I am curious about the the, the, the bun. I'm too. Because it's about time they change their buns. It says they're revamping a big chunk of their core burger menu, too. I'll have to see what that's all about. Mm. But, I mean, to me, I've always loved the double cheeseburger. It's always been my favorite. Yeah. And then they have the McDouble, which to me is kind of it's like a. It's stupid. Not, yeah, it's, like it's like a, a double cheeseburger, but with only one piece yeah, of cheese. Yeah, you're gonna be hungry. It's one not gonna fill you up. The the McDouble is just like the double cheeseburger, but only one slice of cheese. Mm -hmm. The double cheeseburger has everything the McDouble has, but you get one extra slice of cheese. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I want the cheese. Give me the cheese, Jack please. Wants the cheese. Yeah, give me the cheese, please. As long as you're not messing up the breakfast, I'm good. Yeah, I think well, I think it's all good. Yeah, you shouldn't touch McDonald's breakfast. No, their McDonald's breakfast is you can't you can't go wrong with their sausage biscuit. Yeah, no doubt it hasn't about it. Hasn't changed in thirty years, and it's still good. Uh, I think that the, uh, the the breakfast at McDonald's are top flight. To me, I like a big bread. I don't like pancakes, but I'll get the mm -hmm. big breakfast with the scrambled eggs, sausage patty, hash brown. And don't you get something up with a biscuit or a, a mu muffin? I always get biscuit, the muffin. Yeah. yeah. It's good stuff. All right. Well, there you go. There's your McDonald's update. McDonald's update live with Jack and Ron. Perfect. And this is Richard, by the way. And I'm Richard. Richard Taplin. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Richard Taplin. We're making, we're making leaps now. Making Jack. progress. Yes. Uh, yes. I Richard like is the producer who runs all the gear each and every week. And that's why he's got the computer in front of him. Because yes. Gotta he's got to sure everything is still going good. He's got to run all this crap while he's doing the show with yes. me. Yes. And filling in for Ron, who's taking my day off, my, my birthday, taking a day off for it. Uh, okay. I wanted to only men mention this story only because it happened in Oklahoma. Like a lot of dumbass things that happen in Oklahoma. <laughs> This could be funny in a movie, but I don't think it really was funny to the kid who it involved. An employee at an elementary school, employee at an elementary school in Oklahoma, got arrested for blasting a kid in the face with a dodgeball. Damn. He claims the kid, well, wait, first off, it's not clear if this guy's a teacher or not, but an employee. He was sitting off to the side while a dodgeball game was going on, and a ball hit him. The kid says it was not on purpose. It was an accident. It bounced off another kid and then bounced into this guy. Kid claimed it ricocheted off another guy and into him. Either way, the guy's allegedly uh, in trouble now because he responded by beating the kid three times in the back, the back of the leg, and then the <laughs> face. That one knocked his glasses off. Kid it's told him, funny. yeah, poor kid. <laughs> I wish the hell we knew what school it was. They just tell you, they just say an elementary school in Oklahoma. Um, anyway, the kid told the principal and they called the cops for what it's worth. Other students backed up the kid's story. The guy admitted he threw the ball to teach the kid a lesson. Yeah. <laughs> God, thank you. They didn't, thank God they didn't equip him with a gun. Uh, you know, like they're talking about equipment, equipping e yeah. people that em employees at schools with guns. Thank God they didn't in this case. Uh, this guy, uh, said that uh, he refused to apologize to the kid. Um, Lawton Elementary. Lawton Elementary? Yes. Is that what somebody just told you? Yeah. Or you looked it, it up? I looked it up. Um, okay, we got to get to some... Uh, too Tough Trivia. Yeah. So yes. without Ron here, Richard's come up with a Too Tough Trivia question for each and every one of us. Are we ready? Yeah, we had to keep the show going without Ron, but uh, Ron, uh, you know, whenever you're done vacationing, come on back and answer this Too Tough Trivia for this week. The girl in the polka dotic <laughs> polka dot polka dot dress was right. an eyewitness to whose assassination? 
Let me repeat it one more time like how Ron would. The girl in the polka dot dress was an eyewitness to whose assassination? Hmm. To whose girl assassination? The girl in the polka dot dress was the witness, eyewitness to whose assassination. But at the end of the show, we will give you the answer. So during that time, if you have the answer, feel free to chat it in our chat. You can do it on Facebook or even YouTube now because we're alive on YouTube. Man, while you're chatting that away, go ahead and click that share button or at least the like button. That helps Jack and Ron out greatly. Immensely, yeah. And by the way, um, uh, what was I going to say? I kind of lost my place here. Um, I have the answer for that one, by the way. I believe I have the answer, but I'm not going to give it. Oh, I'm not going to give it because we've got... uh, You want to give it at the end of the show? Yeah, at the end of the show. You can tell me, instead of me saying the answer, you can say the answer to see if you're correct or not. Then, when when we come back Mm -hmm. uh, at the end of the show with the... uh, with the actual, what do you call it? The actual Too tough answer, trivia. Too tough trivia. You know, I'm not getting my uh, video here for the show today. Am I supposed to be up? Uh, oh, I have to go to Jack and Ron. I'm on there Jack. Go. Good God, I'm on Jack. Hey, yeah, Jack Instead of Jack and Ron. and Ron. Duh. See, now I'm over here. I can actually help you while yeah. you're doing it. Look at okay, that. there we are. Boom. Wanted to see the various comments and say hi to people. Turn uh, that volume down. Yeah, I, I thought I had it down. Yeah, there you uh, go. Chandra Tucker is with us. She says, hi, Jack and Ron. Well, Ron's not here today. Uh, he's taking the day off for my birthday, which it is today. Uh, first time back in a few weeks. Loving the banter, says Jay Wesley Lindley. Uh, Deodra Taplin. Oh, that would be your... Lovely wife. Your wife. Very nice. Okay, who else we got here? Alex Taylor. Uh, says that gentleman on the right looks familiar. Ooh, <laughs> and uh, D- that's a good thing. <laughs> DJ Barry says, "Afternoon, fellow." Susie Woodring says, "Happy birthday, Jack." And Deandra again says, "Her own." Oh, so I oh think she's trying to. Answer but the, the girl who's been yeah, shot, yeah, yeah. or saying that the girl with the. Uh, but how could she be a witness to her own? Well, I guess if you're shot, you would witness your own assassination. Uh, right. I, yeah. yeah, it's a good thought. So. By the way, Millie is on board. We haven't seen or heard from Millie in months. We've been wondering where Millie is. We don't see her name pop up uh, very fre- frequently on the Facebook page when we're doing this. Millie, thank you so much for the happy birthday yes. wish. Tell Rocky we said hello. Rocky is her husband. You wouldn't know. Richard, hey, Rocky. Right? Hey, yeah. Millie. Ro- Rocky's a great guy. Millie's a great, great See, I feel lady. like I know Millie because I see her name all the time. Yeah. But it, now... Me and Millie can finally actually meet, there as you well go. as all the other great fans of the Jack and Ron show. And uh, thank you so much, Millie, and uh, glad to see you back on board here. Uh, Danny Hobson is checking us out also, so thanks to all those guys. we got some audio to run real quick for you. This is a shorty, but I thought it was pretty interesting. If I can find my paperwork. A Canadian woman caught a black bear, an actual bear. On camera, breaking into her vehicle. Now, in her vehicle, she had dozens of cans of soda. I don't know if she she has kids who are in sporting events. And so she travels to the events with them and takes a bunch of soda for all the kids. But whatever. Uh, Here she is talking about what kinds of soda pop the bear favored breaking into her car. It was about three in the morning and my dog actually alerted me to something was out there. So I took a look outside and I saw the bear and he was drinking massive amounts of soda. He started with the orange crush and eventually the last thing he got was the diet pop, which is the only thing he didn't finish. So out of the 72 pop, he drank 69 of them. 69 cans of pop. Yeah, man. He was shooting for that cocaine bear wow, type. Yeah, no doubt. Sugar rush. You drink that much, you're definitely getting a sugar rush. Yeah, that's, so, that's aggressive. I don't know. Have you seen the movie Cocaine Bear? I have, I have still I not seen it. I think Ron saw it, yeah, didn't he? he saw yeah. it. He said he loves it. Yeah. Uh, I, I haven't st- seen I it I still yet. need to see the Super Mario. I haven't seen it either. Yeah. When last time you seen a movie at the movie theaters? Um, last one I saw at a movie theater uh, was either Twister. Twister? Or... or Passion of the Christ. You are joking, no, Jack. Elliott. Last time I've been to a movie theater. Twister? Yeah, Twister. You had the that that gives some you got some balls. That <laughs> was the last movie I went to see. That's like in the 90s. Yeah. I haven't been to a movie Which theater. Which theater did you go? Do you remember? Hell, whatever it is, it's probably gone. It's probably gone. Yeah. It does not look the same. I honestly anymore. don't remember. Do you not like the theater? Is that what it is? I you know, I like watching stuff at home. I like I being able to fast forward, rewind, pause so I can go get a beer, that kind of thing. You can't do um, none of that at the theater. 
No, not really. Unless you're at one of the theaters like, uh, oh, that one in Moore is pretty good. I've been to that one down there a long time ago. Ron and I were there. We took a bunch. Yeah, the Warren Uh took a bunch of listeners down there. And you can sit up there in the area where they have the bar. Yeah. And they can they have servers who will bring you food and beverages. And that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I I, I just don't uh, get to the theater very often. I, I get to the theater to see bands. And okay. plays and things like that, but I just don't get to the movie theater. I watch most of that stuff at home on the uh, just TV. Just can't wait till they come on TV. And I yeah, got you, I got you. And I a lot mind. of stuff's becoming available very quickly. That, that is true. That is true. That's very true. All right, let's say hello to Orisa and Martinez Flores, who's watching today. She says, "Happy damn birthday, Jack! Thank you, Orisa. Uh, good to have you along on this uh, little journey of ours." Richard uh, Taplin is the producer of the show, filling in for Ron today. Like I said, Ron's taking the day off for my birthday. So, yeah. like I said earlier, I don't quite understand how that works. It's my birthday. He gets the day off. Okay. Uh, we got to take a quick break. We're going to uh, tell you about some of the great people that support this show and uh, help make it possible. Kind of almost sound like public broadcasting, don't hey, I? Hey, you got you the know? voice for it. I'm pretty and sure you probably heard your voice own a commercial for public broadcasting. <laughs> and if you, too, would like to be a, a part of this uh helping and a helping hand for this broadcast just uh go ahead and mail us a dollar yes <laughs> uh, we got operators ron is actually at home on standby yeah waiting for your call he's an operator on okay. duty standing by awaiting your call so that you don't forget to do so call by midnight tonight uh this offer will not be repeated so uh, i repeat this offer will not be repeated just let's put take ron's number up uh, up on the show for That'd people be to great. call <laughs> wouldn't it be cool to put ron's cell number up yeah let him take the calls let him take the calls. i love it all right let's uh let's take a quick break we'll be back in a flash uh hang on we've got uh, news of the i'll be damned tri bond uh email to get to and what else dumbass joke of the day whole bunch of crap so stand by it's all coming up Hey, Jack. Hey, Kay. I need some wings. Are you guys up there? Affirmative. Your backup is cloud base. It's all on the cloud nowadays. That's funny. But do you guys have the wings? Winger, Jack. Winger. Winger. Hey, they had a couple of big hits back in the 80s, remember? Winger, big hair. Great wings don't just fall from the sky. They come from Louie's, where we're preparing food fresh daily. Come try one of our great new sandwiches or wings with any of seven delicious sauces. Louie's, we're in your neighborhood. We've got this down to a science. Over. Yeah, we're just not up here winging it. Hey, Al, I thought we were meeting at Othello's. Hey, Jack, I am at Othello's. Well, I'm looking around, and I don't see you. Well, wait, are you at Othello's in Edmond? No, I'm at Othello's in Campus Corner in Norman. Oh, great. Well, fortunately, both Othello's have great Italian food. They sure do, and I'm having the baked ziti. Ooh, I'm having chicken marsala. Let's continue with the meeting. Yeah, sure thing, over the phone, but I need one thing. What's that? Uh, Your credit card number, because you're buying. Othello's Italian Restaurant on Campus Corner in Norman and in downtown Edmond. You bought it online, and now you need to haul that big couch. Flash hauler it. Bought a washer or dryer and need to transport it from the seller's location to yours? Flash hauler it. Have office furniture to move across town? Flash hauler it. Car breakdown and you need a tow? Flash hauler it. Anytime you need furniture or appliances moved or need a tow, flash hauler it. Haul it, tow it, deliver it with Flash Hauler. Download the Flash Hauler app free. Do it now. Flash Hauler. Hey, it's Jack. Jack Dam Elliott right here on the number one video podcast in America, now on YouTube, live every Monday at 1 o'clock Central Time. At YouTube, you just go to The Jack and Ron Show to see us live. On Facebook, of course, we've been on Facebook for years. You just go to Jack and Ron on Facebook to watch. And, of course, uh, we're on all the other podcast sites streaming the audio uh, throughout the rest of the week. Uh, that's simple to do. You go to iHeartMedia, Podcast, Spotify, Spotify Apple, yeah. all of them. Yeah. Uh, Richard is filling in for Ron. Ron took the day off for my birthday. So, Richard, our producer, Richard Taplin, is here taking care of business is helping out and uh, co-hosting on the podcast today. Good, good to have you here, Richard. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. I want to mention, too, Flash Hauler is a major sponsor on this show and has been for the past four years. Uh, Flash Hauler is an organization, I always say, they're like Uber, only Uber moves and transports people. Flash Hauler transports goods and merchandise. If you go to the big box store and you buy a washer and dryer, you want to have it delivered. And they say, well, we can deliver it, but it's probably going to be about six days before we can get 
You don't have to worry about that. You go to Flash Holler, F-L-A-S-H-O-L-R.com, Flash uh, Download the app. Uh, go on. Uh, go online. They have drivers all over the city waiting, just like Uber does, waiting for someone to say, hey, I need to move a couch, a sofa, a love seat, a refrigerator, a washer, dryer. You go to Flash Holler. They'll be there probably within an hour or two. They'll move the merchandise, get it to you where you want it to go. And boom, you're done. And very reasonably priced on that order or, 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 or offer. There you or, go. I might, yeah, I might offer a very, very reasonably priced. Um, and they also offer a thing called uh, concierge light, which means they have a cargo vehicle come with a helper person, just one guy who helps load and unload the vehicle. Uh, then they have concierge premium, like a couple guys come because you got a refrigerator and a washer and dryer. Need a couple of big Burly buff guys, right? Burly. You, you, those guys. So they'll come and they'll take care of it. They also feature a thing called Hero Helper. You're having the carpet ripped up in your bedroom because, you know, you got blood stains and whatever else on it, you know, wine, uh, you know, cocaine has gotten yeah. in there. So you pull the car, you're having the carpet pulled out and you're going to have wood floors put down. What do you need? You need somebody to move all that damn furniture out of the room while they do the floors and then put the furniture back. That's called a hero helper. They'll do, they'll do that for you. They also have another feature called nice and free. Here's what happens, Richard. Nice and free. Yeah. I like that. What happens is Flash Hauler receives a lot of merchandise from various individuals, in particular, a lot of elderly individuals downsizing their property, moving into an assisted living uh, facility. They got couches. They've got uh, love seats. They've got furniture they don't need. So they give it to Flash Holler, and Flash Holler gives it to you. All you need to do is make sure Flash Holler does the hauling from their location to yours. Nice. Simple enough. Yeah. Can't beat that. No, not at all. Okay. Where am I? Where am I? Oh, yeah. I got to get to the email. John Rock. Bennett is in chat. He says, woohoo, and happy birthday, Jack Alley. Looking great for 117. Thank you, John. I appreciate it. I'm 118. You got the fountain of youth, huh? Yeah, I got that. Yeah, I wish. Uh, youth juice. John Bennett. Happy birthday. Thank you, John. And John always says, woohoo. Thanks for checking us out today. All right. I got to get to the email. Ron generally does the email, but he's not here today so i've gotten the uh, i went and downloaded the email that we uh, had received and here's one we got from a, a young student who likes to watch the show dear jack and ron when you were kids did your parents make you do chores around the house i'm 12 years old i love watching your podcast after school but my parents think i should be cleaning the garage and mowing the yard those kind of things are made for adults aren't they I think I get more life lessons by watching you guys than taking out the trash. How do I fix this problem? And it's signed Jeffrey. Jeffrey, my boy. So I'm saying, dear Jeffrey, you can get a job and move out. <laughs> <laughs> then your parents can't bug you to do those chores. And yeah. yes, yes, we did have to do all those kinds. Of, I'm sure you did too, Richard. Yeah, my, 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 my 11-year-old cuts the yard. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. See, yeah. you had a child just to have somebody maintain the yard. Yeah, seriously. Like, huh? that's, that's the... Grand idea. Have these kids to be able to do the laundry, wash the dishes, all for free. Fend for themselves. Yes. Well, yes, we did have to do all those chores when we were kids, Ron and I and Richard, uh, around the house and the yard. Uh, never enjoyed it too much, but we were told no dinner tonight if we didn't complete the work we were supposed to do. Anyway, thanks for uh, checking out the podcast. And as you said, you get life lessons from us. Yes. So I guess today's life lesson is just do what your parents tell you to Man, do. Man, that's that's, yeah. that's and that's everything's going to be peachy. Everything goes so much gonna better. Be just peachy. All right. Wait, let me do that again. That was a good. All right. Clap. God, kind of Man, woke me up. Did. I think it's time to check in with Roy. Roy, the movie guy, who's got an update for us on what's going on at the theaters this week. Hello, Roy. Thank you, guys. I hope everybody had a great weekend at the box office. We have two brand new movies opening up this weekend at the box office. But let's really talk about what's doing so good. That is the Super Mario Brothers movie. And it's third weekend, number one at the box office again, taking in another over $50 million. And this movie is inching closer to the billion dollar mark. I have seen this movie at least five times with my kids. They love it. They want to see it again. And we probably will see it again because I enjoyed it as well. Great movie. Now let's talk about what's opening up this weekend at the box office. The first movie is called Big George Foreman, starring Chris Davis, Forrest Whitaker, and Sullivan Jones. 
From Olympic gold medalist to world heavyweight champion, boxer George Foreman leads a remarkable life. He finds his faith, retires, and becomes a preacher. When financial hardship hits his family and church, George steps back in the ring and regains the championship at age 45, becoming the oldest heavyweight champion in boxing history. Rated PG-13 with a runtime of 2 hours and 13 minutes long. Up next, we have the movie, Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret. Starring Abby Ryder Forston, Rachel McAdams, and Kathy Bates. Raised by a Christian mother and a Jewish father, an adolescent girl starts to ask questions about religion and faith. Rated PG-13 with a runtime of one hour and 51 minutes long. And that's a look at what's opening up this weekend at the box office. Back to you guys in the studio. Hey, thanks, Roy. Good stuff. That was good. Uh, Man, I, I'm going to see Mario, Mario this weekend. I have to. I, yeah, you know, I've uh, not seen that movie. And like I said, I, I haven't been to Twister. a theater. <laughs> yeah. I haven't been to a theater since Twister was in the theater. I, I really would like to see this movie, though. For whatever reason, I, I'm not so sure. I mean, I used to when I my daughter was real, real young, like six, seven, eight years old. We played Mario, you know, the, yeah. the little video game. We played it every day. Really? Had a great time playing it. So yeah. You are a Mario fan. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm a, a big fan, but I, is the movie, does it appeal to adults? I mean, Roy's seen it five times. I have heard a lot of adults saying they truly, truly enjoy it. Okay. And then I think you will enjoy, you know, the nice luxury things that are at the theaters now. The nice lazy they, they, boys They've seats, changed things, the yeah. The food that comes to you while you're sitting there right. waiting for the movie. Hmm, maybe I need to rethink this. The, the beer. Yeah. They have great beers hey. out there, too. I'm in. Yeah. All you had to do was say beer. Okay. Well, I'll think about going to see Mario Brothers. I've told my daughter, she has a shop. If you're ever in Cincinnati, you know, my daughter has always sold <clears throat> clothing items, very, you know, hip, very up to date, very cool uh, women's fashions and accessories and that sort of thing online at her uh, website, which is shopbink, S H O P B I N C dot com. Because her name is Brittany. So she's got shopbink. I don't know where the. Bink. But anyway, <laughs> so that's her website. But she's now got a booth in a place called Painted Tree. We have a Painted Tree in Edmond. It's a... Where is it at? A syndicated... Is that Bryant? It's on Bryant at 2nd Street. Used oh, to be the Steinmark. Yeah, I know yeah. what you're talking about. If you go in there... It's like a it, flea market almost? Well, it's almost, but a lot better. Uh, you go in, all the product is new. Uh, so you go in and uh, there's booth after booth. It's kind of like going to Mistletoe Market or... Uh, what's that other one? The Heart... Uh, God, I can't remember the other one, but it's like, um, but it, it's market, like mistletoe yeah. market and the other one that they do every year at the fairgrounds. It's like going into one of those without the twelve dollar admission fee. It's free to go in. Great booths all set up. So my daughter's got. When you ever go to Cincinnati, go find her booth. I don't know the number of her booth, but it's in the painted tree in Cincinnati. That's the name of the. Uh, uh, outfit that puts these things together. It's called Painted Tree, and inside there's all these different booth after booth after booth, everything from clothing, uh, kids' items, uh, food products like salsas and uh, mixes, and oh. yeah, all kinds of stuff. Men's products. Uh, one uh, here at the Painted Tree up here in Edmond. One uh, in the far left corner. I discovered one. All record album, vinyl, oh. albums. Yeah, all cool stuff. Uh, Patty Stowers said happy birthday to Jack. Patty, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, for those just joining us, Richard is filling in for Ron. Ron is off today. He took the day off for my birthday, uh, which seems like it should be the reverse. But Richard uh, Taplin is our producer, executive the producer. The of co-host. He does all the stuff. <laughs> so now he's filling in as co-host, filling in for Ron. Uh, but again, if you get to Cincinnati, go to Painted Tree, look it up, and go find my daughter's... Uh, uh, here's what I did. And I'm, the reason I twisted into all this was because you brought up Mario Brothers and so did uh, Roy. Mm -hmm. I told her, I said, if you want to attract some attention at your booth, here's an idea. Get a giant cardboard, life-size cardboard of Taylor Swift. So she said, that's a pretty good idea. So she did put it up. She's gotten a ton of attention. And she's just so, by just having the by having it there, by having uh, Taylor Swift stand there. It just, it, you know, young people and you know moms with kids who are taylor swift fans see it and go oh cool they might have and so she sold a bunch of other stuff that uh it might relate to taylor swift and that uh you know era and uh you know generation of people so anyway that was my day and i told her the other thing you need to do before it goes away get a life-size mario and put it up 
hmm. at the booth. That too will attract, especially kids. Yeah. Because yeah. she's selling a lot of kids stuff, women stuff, kids stuff. She's got it all at the booth. And I think sometime down the road, there's a chance that she's going to be selling some car shining, polishing product. Nice. That will be mine. Look at so, you, Jack. Yeah, look at that. The gift um, that keeps on giving. Jack Elliott, ladies and gentlemen. I tried. All right, we got to get to... Uh, got some more audio. Yeah, audio here. Andy Owen. Ever hear the name? Probably not. Andy Owen is the CEO of the high-end furniture company called Miller Knoll. Miller Knoll is a real high-end furniture company. Well, apparently she doesn't like the idea that employees, you know, have uh, been complaining about various parts of the job and what have you. So this is a clip of her doing an online chat with her employees, and it's now gone viral because mm, she is scolding. Did. She's scolding her employees for complaining about not getting bonuses. Uh, the employees have been bitching and moaning. They don't get no uh, bonus. OK. And one of the reasons they are is because word got out that Andy Owen, the person we're talking about, the CEO, is receiving millions of dollars in bonuses. So here she is in the meantime, bitching and moaning at her employees. Questions came through about how can we stay motivated if we're not going to get a bonus. Some of them were nice and some of them were not so nice. So I'm going to address this head on. Don't ask about what are we going to do if you don't get a bonus? Get the damn $26 million. Spend your time and your effort thinking about the $26 million we need and not thinking about what you're going to do if we don't get a bonus. All right. I had an old boss who said to me one time, you can visit Pity City, but you can't live there. So people leave Pity City. Let's get it done. Thank you. Oh. Have a great day. Wow. Oh, I'm sure they all had a great day thinking about how they were going to kick your ass. Wow. God. Talk That's about this healthy workplace. Yeah. Talk about a great motivational woman. Shh. Yeah. Boy, what great motivator she is. Andy Owen, the CEO of the high end furniture company, Miller Noel. Just write that down as when you see she it. She wouldn't even have those big bonuses for, for her. For them working their asses. Yeah. Putting them in work. You're That's right. crazy. How do you feel about that? Who, me? Yeah. I feel like, hey. If what you, would you tell your boss if he called you guys up on a meeting and said, quit complaining about all this bonus crap? God, Just because I've, our ratings are high, I don't mean where your paycheck is going to be hijacked. Now, I've had him bitch and moan and bitch and moan at me, but old bosses over the years. Never about that because I never bitched about not getting a bonus. Um, we... You know, we um, received uh, bonuses from time to time based on ratings, all that kind of crap. But I never, ever, you know, complained about it, uh, complained about a number of other things. And we get but usually when we got called in and got ripped on. It's because so something we did on the air. Too much it, strawberry it, jam squirting. No, it wasn't, <laughs> and it wasn't because of, that we deserved it as because we knew whatever we were doing was satisfying the audience, the people who were listening. Now, some people get a little chapped off and you lose a listener or two over the years. But the, for everyone, I figured for everyone we lost, we gained 50 more. There you Just go. Just because, you know, when you get somebody who bitches and moans and complains about the fact that you talked about, oh, uh, I don't know, a certain religion or the way somebody dressed or the earring somebody wore, what, it's like, come on, get a life. You're going to take the time to complain about that to management. Uh, grow up, go, go find yourself something better to do. Uh, so every time we lost listeners, which happened from time to time, probably more often than <laughs> we like to admit, but Hey, when we lost for every one we lost, we gained 50 more. And I think the ratings proved it too. All right. We got to get to, uh, Oh, is this it? Yeah, I believe it is news of the I'll be damned. Here we go. News of the I'll be damned. 21 like <laughs> year old woman in New York. Her name is Jaylene Mota. Jaylene was recently hired by Buffalo Wild Wings. Mm. Yeah, Buffalo Wild Wings. They got all those wings. That's kind of what they're known for. I like Wingstop over. Oh, do you like Wingstop better? Yeah. I don't think I've been to either one of them. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. If I have, I haven't tried the wings. Yeah, I need to. So anyway, uh, this woman was hired by Buffalo Wild Wings, uh, but she didn't want to go to work last weekend. So she hatched a really great idea, a great plan. Listen to this. She sent text messages to random people claiming that someone was going to shoot up that Buffalo Wild Wings location where she was employed. She said, it'll be a massacre. There will be blood it's not and funny. lots of people are going to go down. It's not funny. No, it's, it's hilarious. <laughs> she knew people would believe her and warn I the bet. restaurant. Yeah, <laughs> of course they did. Uh, well, because unfortunately, 
Uh, this kind of thing happens in America all the time, unfortunately. People yeah. being shot in churches, movie theaters, malls, restaurants, wherever. Uh, anyway, she should have known that she was going to get in trouble because these people called the police. Of course. Who could easily trace the message back to her. She's arrested and is now looking up to, looking at, up to five years in prison. Wow. Nice going, well, girl. She don't have to worry about going to work. No, that's true. Wow, Man. that's aggressive. Yeah, but I don't it's think not, it's not funny, but damn, you uh, it, to go to that links. I know that's good man, stuff. Man, you and must I, have not like that job. Must have really wanted the damn weekend off. And here's the way I look at Just it. Call you know, it. She'll have three meals a day yeah. behind bars, but they don't serve wings. They, I don't think they do. They don't because the bones can be used as a knife, you know, Ooh. but bones can be used as a yeah. what do they call that? A shank? I think that's what they call it in, in the joint. In, in yeah, in a pit. weapon. They call it wow. a shank. So the chicken bones could be used to stab their fellow inmate, which happens quite often if they have something to stab them with. Mm. So just remember that, Jaylene. That was her name, right? Jaylene? Yeah. Well, remember that while you're sitting there behind bars. No wings for you. No wings for you. All right. We got to get some more audio. You know, once in a while, we would feature our own version of an old TV show. We've done this a number of times. Uh, the TV show in this case was Leave it to Beaver. I love it when I hear these clips. Do you? Really? Oh, I love them. I love it. <laughs> well, in our version of this Leave it to Beaver series of shows that we did, uh, in Beaver's world, his teacher, Miss Landers, was always trying to come up with ways to steal Beaver's dad away from Beaver's mom. Mm. She had the hots for Beaver's dad. His name is Ward, Ward Cleaver. So anyway, Beaver was always kind of the go-between. Here is the episode called Mom's Break Line. The mechanic at the gas station and ask him which hose under the hood on Mom's car is the brake line hose. And once I get that information, Miss Landers wants me to take a pair of scissors and cut that hose and just leave it hanging. No, wait a minute now. You, you, she's having you do an awful lot of stuff. I can't get you to cut the yard. Dad, do you think Mom will get sore at me for cutting her brake line? Dad, oh, I, I'd say so. Dad, Miss Landers has a picture of our family on her desk. And it's different because everything is normal except where Mom is standing in the picture. Her head is gone. And Miss Landers' head has replaced Mom's head. Beef, do you ever feel a little uh, icky talking to Miss Landers at all? I'm just, I just want to know, do you feel comfortable with this? She's really nice to me. And she did it on her computer. She said she photoshopped it or something like that. Oh, Dad, Miss Landers wanted me to give this to you. It's a bill from some place called the Wet Willie Motel. She said you were supposed to pay it. But she put it on her charge card since you forgot your wallet, whatever that means. Oh, Dad, <laughs> my teacher, Miss Landers, also had me take my house key and make a copy for her. She said it was normal for a teacher to have a key to a student's house just in case she needs to come by and leave me some homework. Are you sure you sprang from my loins, Beef? You're kind of stupid. Something else, Dad. I was yeah. wondering, why does Miss Landers have a visa card with Mom's name on it? And she has a driver's license with Mom's name, but Miss Landers' picture on the license. Dad, can I go to summer camp? Lumpy and Whitey say I'm a girly boy if I can't go. They said summer camp is fun because they sneak out at night and swim across the lake to the girls' camp, and they watch the girls dance in their underpants. But I don't want to do that. I might get cooties. Dad, can we move to Canada? <laughs> Like, you know, not believe I like to send you to Canada. <laughs> well, there you go. Such a classic. Little classic. Leave it to Beaver. Yo, know, maybe I'll bring another one in next week. I've got a bunch of those. Yeah, I've got keep them coming. Probably 50, 60 more we can listen to if you guys like it. I mean, if you don't like the Leave it to Beaver segments, we'll blow them out. But uh, so far, the reaction's always been pretty good. I mean, we did those originally live on the radio and then we just happened to save them all uh, over the years we'd uh, record those as we were doing them so there you have leave it to beaver jack and ron version mm -hmm. uh, we got to say hi to oh let's see here brit fisher brit says oh speaking of that woman the ceo from that uh, furniture company brit says wow she sounds like a great boss to work for <laughs> Yeah, no doubt. Me and Britt used to work together. That's, that's my buddy right there. Really? You and Britt? Yeah. Really? I can only imagine the type of feeling that we would have now if we heard our boss talking like that. No kidding. You'd be so out of there so quick. <laughs> Speaking of out of there so quick, here's big news for you. I know you've probably heard it already because it happened within the last two hours. Uh, Tucker, well, for, well, not Forrest Tucker. Chris Tucker. Tucker. Tucker what's his name? <laughs> Tucker... Uh, why can't we think of his name? God, the guy was just fired by him. No, they're not it's saying Carlson. Fire. Tucker Carlson. Man, that was yeah. weird. <laughs> Tucker Carlson, no longer with Fox. As of Friday, it's his last show. They've come to an agreement. I'm sure the agreement had something to do with that lawsuit that they ended up settling out of court uh, by paying off the uh, 
voting machine company, $785 million. Oh, and in addition to that, now, um, oh, the guy from CNN was let go. Uh, the morning guy who used to be on in the evening. Oh, come on, Jack. Jeez, uh, what the hell am I thinking here? Why am I, um, why am I failing at this? Real I'm quick? sorry. Me, you want me to look it up for you? I'm, I'm sure you I got it here pretty quick. Um, oh uh, yeah, Don Lemon. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. You did say that earlier. Don Lemon uh, is no longer with CNN. Uh, apparently, you know, he did for eight years. He did that show um, in the evening, and then they moved him to mornings. That only lasted a couple months, and now he's out. Yeah. So. Don Lemon is out. Maybe Don Lemon will swap with uh, Tucker Carlson. Maybe Tucker will go to years. CNN. There we go. Yeah, 17 years. For uh, Don Lemon? Mm-hmm. So maybe Don Lemon will go to Fox to replace Tucker Carlson, and Tucker Carlson will come to CNN to replace Don Lemon. Now, that would be a cool swap. <laughs> that would be That would be incredible. Uh, by the way, Arjun, my friend who used to work over at the Jiffy Stop, Arjun uh, is a good, good guy. Arjun says happy birthday, Jack, and he is watching today. Thank you, Arjun. Appreciate that. Okay, we're skipping the sleazy, trashy showbiz report today since Ron's not here. And I don't have none. Yeah, and generally, that's kind of Ron's deal. Yeah, you know? that, and we didn't his, find out to with jam. We didn't find out till about an hour, hour and a half before showtime that Ron decided to take my birthday off. Yeah. So there you go. Well, happy birthday, Jack. I ain't gonna be there. Yeah. Is that how that sound? Pretty much. Sounded just I like put Ron. more rasp in my voice. He has a very yeah. <clears throat> kind of deep uh, voice. Oh, look, man. Yeah. Uh, I'm not I can't going. do it, brother. I can't do it today. I, won't I love be you, there. though. But, uh, Let me know if you need anything. <laughs> uh, but don't make it anything too big. All right. Or too expensive. Yeah. Don't have this being y'all's best show. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm trying to separate my paperwork here. It's all stuck together. And why are you doing that? Because next we got dumbass. Yeah. Jokes that's why I was of the day. working on that here. All right. Dumbass joke of the day. Oh, I get to pick go. cheese. Huh? I get to pick oh, my yeah. cheese. We have uh, three extremely cheesy jokes. And normally we call upon Ron to pick his cheese, uh, pick one of the cheesy joke so instead today richard gets to pick his cheese uh joke number one the genie number two Ooh. the doctor's visit number three mrs jones let me give them to you again the genie the doctor's visit mrs jones oh yeah we, we, we gotta see what mrs jones talking about you want mrs jones all mrs. right mrs. jones woman takes her 16 year old doc, uh, daughter to the doctor takes her daughter to the doctor doctor says okay mrs jones what's the problem mom says it's my daughter, Debbie. She keeps getting these cravings. She's putting on weight and she's sick most in the morning. Doctor gives Debbie a good examination, turns to the mom and says, well, don't know how to tell you this, but you're Debbie. Your daughter is pregnant, about mm. four months pregnant, my guess. Mm. Mom says, pregnant? She can't be pregnant. She's never even been alone with a man. You haven't, have you, Debbie? She says, Debbie says, no, mother. I've never even kissed a man. Doctor walks over to the window. He stares outside. About five minutes go by. The mom says, is there something wrong out there, doctor? Doctor says, no, not at all. It's just that the last time anything like this happened, a star appeared in the east and three wise men came over the hill. I'm not going to miss it this time around. <laughs> not bad, huh? That wasn't too bad. All right. Why don't I give you this one, though? I'm still waiting for the answer. <laughs> <laughs> that was the answer. <laughs> right, what else I got here? Okay, I got to give you another one. Uh, Sharita Barrett, by the way, is watching. Sharita, you tuned in just in time to get another one of these dumbass jokes. Man walks into a bar, orders a drink. The bartender gives the man the drink and says, and the man rather says to the bartender, if I show you something crazy, would you let me have free drinks the rest of the night? The bartender says, wait a minute. It would be something really spectacular to take an offer like that. The man leans down, picks up a box, and sets it on the bar. He opens the box. Inside, there's a tiny little man, a real man, only about eight inches tall. And next to him is a little piano. The piano man, the little guy, starts playing classical music like Beethoven and Chopin. Um, once he finishes, the bartender tells the man, look, you can have free drinks for the rest of the night, but only if you tell me where you got that. And the guy says... Out in the alley behind the bar, there's a genie. He's granting free wishes to everyone who wants them. While well, the bartender heads out behind the bar to see if it's true, a few minutes go by. All of a sudden, you hear quacking in the alley. Quacking. Bartender rushes back into the bar and shuts the door because there's thousands of ducks out there. Uh, he manages to secure the door, says to the guy, I think that genie is hard of hearing because after I asked him for a million bucks, 
These ducks appeared by the thousands. The man says, huh, you didn't really think I wished for a 12-inch pianist, did you? <laughs> get it? Pianist in the... I, I did it. Uh, I got one last you one. I'm going to give genie on your hands. I got you one more. Woman rushes to the doctor, looking very worried, all strung out. She rattles off to the doctor. Doctor, take a look at me. When I woke up this morning, I looked at myself in the mirror. I saw my hair all wiry. I'm all frazzled up. My skin's all wrinkled and pasty. My eyes are bloodshot. They're bugging out of my head. And I had this corpse look on my face. What's wrong with me? And the doctor looks over a couple minutes and says, well, I can tell you, there's definitely nothing wrong with your eyes. Oh, hey, hey, okay. Ding, ding. I like that one. That was a good ending one. Finally. Yeah, yeah. That was a good one. That was a good one. Finally. All right. Uh, second to last thing on the agenda, we're going to do Tribond. Oh. Where we give you three words and you got to come up with one word that works with the three. We give you three words. You got to come up with one word that works with the three. Dun, dun, dun. Remember how that I'm works? I want to get music to all your segments. Okay. Good idea. Yeah. I, I want some like some dark <laughs> music coming for Tribond. Yeah, Tribond is music. always so aggressive. All right. This is the one we gave last week, and we know everybody got it, or I believe everybody got it correct. I think I even got it. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, did. Yeah. You did. If I got it, that means The three it. words last week, you've had seven days to come up with the answer. The three words were Beaver, Yankees, Hoover. Yeah, that was easy. It was Dam. Dam is right. Beaver Dam, Dam Yankees, <laughs> Hoover Dam. Now, today, level of difficulty, one through ten. This is a 12. Ooh. Uh, this is tough. I got a friend who I play this with at the bar all the time, this game that I, more or less Ron and I created this game. But I play it with this guy named Wayne at the bar all the time. I'm going to say he tests the, the difficulty. This one, he's had two weeks to get and still hasn't gotten it. Ah, uh, shook a dick. Uh, this one, I mean, I'm telling you what. A three-legged dog three, can't get this? A three-legged dog with no tail and an eye patch is never going to get this. Uh, uh, a chicken with one feather and no pecker can't get this. Oh, no. Yeah. All right. I give you three. Chicken. Yeah, that damn chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I give you three words. You got to come up with one word that works with the three. Here are the three words. Pocket, feed, milk. Shall I give it to you one more time? Please do. You might want to write them down. Pocket. Feed milk. Hmm. Pocket feed milk. Feed milk. Pocket feed milk. All right. You got seven days to think about it. We'll come back next Monday. Hopefully, someone, I mean, someone will have the answer again. Pocket feed milk. Feed yeah. Milk. All right. While we ponder that, let's get back to two tough trivia. Yes. Richard filling in for Ron today. Thanks for doing it. Did a great. Hasn't Richard done a great job filling in for Ron? I'm yeah. trying. Come I'm on. Try. It's hard to fill those boots. Yeah. Ron got some big boots. Yeah, but you're doing a fine job. Thank Fantastic. You, so Thank thanks you. for filling in today and helping out. No problem. Anytime. I enjoy this. I think it's an honor to finally be able to sit next to Jack, the Jack Elliott. Like I, I hear Jack his Jack. voice every day, yeah. not just because I, I produce a show, but also on the radio all the time. Hmm. I listen to Jazz Station. Oh, yeah, the jazz yeah. station. I did so a lot of work for those folks. Yeah. Hi, yeah, this is Jack And, Elliott. you know, I did most of that work for those people because it's a nonprofit station. I did it for nonprofit. God, that's the heart huh? of Jack Elliott. There he you go. He just keeps on giving. Even I try on his to birthday, give. he still gives you guys I try this to amazing podcast. Yeah, well, be, the, today being my birthday, Ron took the day off. <sighs> Supposed to work in the reverse, but Ron took the day off. But Richard volunteered. When I got here, he said, hey, I'll fill in. I said, yeah, why so I not? I got you, baby. I got you. <laughs> there you go. So Richard two tough has oh, two go tough trivia. Yes. Go ahead. Two tough trivia. Um, who, what? I forgot it. And my phone died. Well, how'd it go? <laughs> That's why I always put it on paper. I don't trust the electronics. What assassination did the girl with the polka dot dress witness? What assassination did the girl with the polka dot dress witness? Yes. Whose assassination I, okay, did I'll the tell girl you what with the polka dot dress witness? There you go. My answer was John F. Kennedy's. But. Which was very, very, very close. But the actual answer is. Robert. 
Kennedy. Kennedy. I knew it was a Kennedy. I don't know why I said John F. So Kennedy. So is that just like it history was, information that this polka dot girl? It's a little trivia information from she was in the restaurant kitchen where Robert F. Kennedy was killed by Sirhan Sirhan uh, while they were there? escorting him through. I don't remember if she worked there, if she was a hostess or if she was a reporter or what, but she witnessed it. Is she like a, was she like a key witness in the case? Is I would think so. Okay. Because I, mean, I believe she was right there and saw Sirhan Sirhan take the gun and, you know. Pow. Pow, pow, pow. Mm. Guns, guns, guns. Dark days. Yeah. Very dark days. All right. Well, hey, that's going to wrap it up. By next week, Ron should have uh, been all celebrated out, enjoyed my birthday, had a good time on Cure my- Cure this hangover, getting some water in his system. Yeah. He should be 100% back. He home. should be ready to rock out next week. Yes. Yeah. With his thing out. Yeah, there you go. Well, anyway, thanks to Richard Richard Taplin. He's the man. Look for him on Facebook, too. You got your own Facebook page, yeah, right? Yeah, you can actually follow me on any social yeah. media platform. It's actually, you can type in Richard Taplin, but it's The Buckety. T-H-E-B-U-C-K-I-T-Y. The Buckety. Yes. All right. And you can follow me, too, at Jack Elliott on Facebook. And I'm on Instagram and uh, Twitter. And then I've got a website, JackElliottEnterprise.com or Jack. Elliot Enterprises.com. Either one goes to the same website, Jack Elliot Enterprise.com. Check it out. Check it out. Now remember, we got a phone number you can call too. It's 590-509-5030. That's it. It's call that number, leave a voice message, and get some things off your chest. And that's your opportunity to talk to Jack and Ron. 405-509-5030. Write it down. 405-509-5030. It's just a recorded message. You leave us a message. Tell us anything you want. Tell us how much you like us. Tell us how much you dislike us. Feel free. Call your friends, neighbors, loved ones, and everybody else. And be sure to share this podcast with everybody you know. Yes. Everyone on your friends list, share it with them, okay? And then don't forget Wednesdays. This episode is dropped live just for your audio pleasure. For you can hear it through your ears while you're cutting the yard or going on that morning jog. And you can listen to Jack and Ron and get some good laughs. Yeah, you get it on your iHeart, your Apple, your Spotify, your TuneIn, whatever you prefer to listen to. Uh, we got to get out of here. When you go out to do what you do, do it like Jack and Ron. Go out there, be the very best at what you do, okay? Be the best, like Jack and Ron. Go out there, give it 110, 120, 130% ever, like Jack and Ron. Go out there, give it hell. Bye-bye, folks. Good day.